What's up? April. Forgot the date already. 22nd. Yes, the 22nd for sure. Sensei Koi here. I am your host in this backyard extravaganza today. Um, want to remind anybody, if anybody sent me a tournament video and you did not get a response back from me, that means I did not get it. So please let me know. Um, today we're going to go through a quick warm up, which that's a time warmed up today. We're going to do a kicking drill, which is called one, two, three, hold. That's going to be working on our flexibility today. And we're going to go through some blocking techniques and then we're going to finish with a fun game. Perfect. So let's go ahead and bow into class. Tight, ready, stance. Left foot to your right foot. Kyosuke. Ray. That's ready. Come on. Ayup. Hands behind your back. Children's pledge. One, we love our country. Two, we love and respect our parents. Three, we respect the ceremonies of the Karate Do tradition. Four, we respect our education. Five, we will fulfill our duties. Six, we love and respect each other. Seven, we promise to cultivate healthy minds and bodies. We are a black belt school. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First drill, high knee punches. We're going to be running and punching at the same time for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. So I'm running and I'm punching at the same time. I know a lot of my students have done this before. If you've never done it before, pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm punching and bringing my hand to the chamber and I'm bringing my knees up. Keep going, 30 seconds, 10 seconds left. Hope everybody's having a super day so far. Thank you for jumping in on my poll to let me know if morning classes, go ahead and stop. Let me know if morning classes are gonna work for you guys. Not that we're just gonna do morning classes. We look at maybe opening some more up to make classes small, sizes smaller. Stand up punches, here we go. I'm outside on the concrete, so I'm here. You're gonna start with your knees on the ground, hands in your chamber. I'm going to stand up and punch two times. Ready, set, go. So I stand up, one, two. Then I go back down. Stand up, one, two. Then I go back down. Stand up, one, two. Cardio drill, working those legs. Stand up, tight chambers. One, two. Stand up. One, two. Pants are too long for this drill. One, two. One more. One, two. Okay, next up, we got super jacks. So with super jacks, My feet will start together, then they're gonna spread out, and I'm gonna squat down. So what it looks like is, one more time. Ready, set, super jacks, go. Bend those knees. Touch those hands. Five seconds. Bend those knees. One more. Time. One more. We're gonna do switch kicks. This one's a little bit easier. Put your left foot in front. Hands up. I'm gonna switch legs, and then I'm gonna kick with the leg that's in front. For example, I got this side in front, I switch, kick with the front leg. Switch, kick with the front leg. Hands up. Deep breath. 
Cardio work. Go. Kick. 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 Come on. Bam. 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 Keep going. Halfway there. Hands up. Five seconds left. Two high fives, two low fives. Good cardio work, way to get our blood pumping. Water break. You know my water's coffee. Okay, moving on. We now have our drill. You might need an assistant for a drill today. It's called one, two, three, kick and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna pump three round kicks now remember when we do round kicks we got to turn our body sideways we're gonna you can have a stool or a chair to help you today should have pointed that out so we have our chair and I'm sideways right now okay this is my right leg to you guys okay Got my hand up here, I'm completely sideways. You want your whole body facing this way, but I'm kicking in this direction, okay? I wanna go one, two, three, four. That's my round kick. Remember, all kicks have four counts. That's not what the drill is, we're just understanding the round kick right now. Hands up, hand on the table. One, two, three, Four. Let me show you guys a little cheat code here, a little trick. Point your toes that are nearest to the chair, to the chair. This will give you better balance, especially if I don't have my chair. Opening my foot this way gives me, gives my foot a better area to gr grab upon the ground so I don't have to lean too much. I can use my toes. If my foot's facing this way, I'm just gonna roll over on my ankle. So I'm here, hands up, one, two, three, four. So that's our kick that we're gonna be working. Now, and if you're brand new or you haven't done that kick too many times, feel free to pause the video and just get used to doing that movement there. We kick with the top of our foot, which we call the shoelaces. We never have shoelaces on in class. So you can see where I'm using my shoelaces here when I do this kick. Look, I'm gonna hold that right there. That's the part of the foot that I'm kicking with, okay? Now the drill is, hands up, one, I'm gonna hold my leg up and I'm gonna do three round kicks, bam, 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 without putting my leg down. Again, you can use it, if you can do it without the chair, super awesome, but it's okay to use it to learn to get better technique. I don't want this, <sighs> something like that, okay? I want you to have really good technique, so hands up, one, two, three. Put it out down. Let's do it five times. That's one. One, two, three. That's two. One, two, three. That's three. Make sure your foot comes all the way back, like almost your foot touches your bottom, okay? One, two, three. That's four. One more. One, two, three. That's five. Notice this hand stayed up the whole time. It didn't go down. Working my other leg. And up. One, two, three. Down. One, two, three. Down. That's two. One, two, three. That's three. One, two, three. That's four. One more. One, two, three. That's five. Okay, I want you to go ahead and pause the video. When you pause it, I want you to do each leg again. On your last kick, when you go to do it, I want you to take your hand off the chair or stool and hold it strong so you're here. One, two, three. Holding that balance, okay? Go ahead and pause. 
on to blocking drills today. Now, this specific video is for white through purple belts. White through purple belts concentrate on three blocks. High blocks, knife hand blocks, low blocks. In this age group, I am very particular about the blocking hand go inside the X. So this is gonna be very technique savvy drill today, okay? Everybody wave this hand at me, say what up sensei? What up sensei? There you go, tight fist. This hand, put it closest to you on the inside of your X. So we're gonna do five blocks with this hand only. We're gonna go above the head, chamber, put it back inside the X. Some kids like to hear back inside the rabbit hole back inside the cave, whatever you want to call it, I don't care, but it's got to go inside. Here we go. Starts inside, so it goes up. Notice how I turn that wrist. Chamber, that's one. Put it back inside. Here we go, ready? Two, back inside. Three, back inside. Four, back inside. Five, Back inside, switch hands. Wave this hand, what up sensei? Here we go, let's get these done fast so we can play our game. So this hand's inside my cave right now. One, back inside. Two, back inside. Three, back inside. Four, back inside. Five, back inside. Excellent. Let's do our knife hand blocks now. Remember, knife hand blocks look like these. This hand is closed, this hand is open. This one's a little bit easier to understand which one goes inside because it looks weird. It's not the same. This one looks like this one. Here we go, wave. What up, sensei? Here we go. Ready, one. Back inside. Two, notice how my hand's in the chamber. Back inside. Three, back inside. Four. Back inside. Five. Back inside. Switch hands. Other hand now. One. Back inside. Two. Back inside. Three. Back inside. Four. Back inside. Five. Back inside. Okay, moving to our low blocks. Wave this hand at the sensei. Say, what up, sensei? Tight. Here, very good. So notice the waving hand went inside. Low blocks. I don't look down to do low blocks. I don't turn my body. Keep your body square. One, back inside. Two, back inside. Three, back inside. Four, back inside. Five. Back inside, switch hands. Other hand now. One, back inside. Two, back inside. Three, back inside. Four, back inside. Last one strong, five, back inside. Okay, so that's our curriculum for our basic blocks. High blocks, knife hand blocks, low block making sure that hand goes inside. And you guys know that we work on punching with those as well. I uh, just wanted to go through a little bit more technique and make sure that hand's going back inside that X every time. Rock, paper, scissors is my game today. Warm those hands up. Okay, if you beat me, you do nothing. If I beat you, you gotta do today 10 shoulder taps. That means you gotta do these today. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 10 up. Round one. Five rounds today. That means bring it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I have paper. Did you beat paper? Who's doing shoulder tap? Somebody is. Round two, make sure you pause to do your shoulder taps. Be honest with me. Round two, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I have rock. Did you beat rock? 
Probably not. I win normally. 10 shoulder taps if you lost. Pause and do your 10. Round three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I've got scissors. Did you beat my scissors? You lost, give me my 10 shoulder taps. Round four. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I got paper, who beat paper for round four? Last round, super round. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Went with paper twice in a row right there. Did you beat paper? If you tie, don't do anything. If you lost, you owe me 10 shoulder taps. Thanks for coming to class today. Kiyosuke and Ray. Miss you guys. Hopefully we'll be back kicking soon. Take it easy.